Hey guys and welcome back to another Runescape video and in this video I want to be talking about cremation. Now before we start I want to mention that this is F2P and also members. So if you are an F2P player you can actually obtain this ability that I'm about to mention and if you are a member of course you're able to do everything in the game. So today I'm going to be talking about cremation. Some of you might remember this ability that could be unlocked in the Halloween event in 2014 and if you haven't unlocked it or you just have no idea what I'm talking about let me just go through it with you so you can understand how to obtain it even though the event is finished. That's right, you can still obtain this ability even if you didn't claim it from the 2014 Halloween event. The easiest way to know if you've got it or not is just using a bone on a fire, on a bonfire and to see if you get any experience from it. But let me explain how to get it. So during the Halloween event, and hopefully this might bring back a few memories, um, as you can see there on the bottom left of this reward shop, it says cremation ability. It costs 10,000 of the reward points, and if you had bought it, you'll automatically unlock this ability and you can use it straight away. But if you haven't, you can obtain it from killing ghosts. So just to prove that the ability itself can be unlocked in F2P and you can actually obtain it, um, in case some of you are like, no, you can't do it in F2P. Here we have an F2P player. He just unlocked it. As you can see in his chat box, it says, you have unlocked the ability to burn bones on bonfires. And thankfully, he actually also posted how long it took him. In his description, he said that it took him about four to five hours to get it. And I'd personally say it obviously did take him a long time because he was obviously killing the ghosts in the security stronghold. You can obtain it from the Banshees. Well, basically any ghost in RuneScape will drop it, but the rarity will depend on the combat level and things like that. So now let's get back into the method and talk about if it's worth it or not, how much does it cost, and is it better experience or isn't it better? I can tell you right away that this is a lot faster experience than doing fire making the normal way and also prayer together the normal way. So let me talk about dragon bones for example. Please keep in mind though that you can burn every single bone but you can't burn ashes on the fire. Of course, as you get lower down the line to like the normal bones, you get a lot less experience. And as you get higher into the frost dragon bones, you'll get a lot more experience. And as you can see at the top of my screen, I reset my experience counter. And please keep in mind that I'm not including any bonus experience at all in this guide, even though I have it in game at the moment. So I'm gonna give you two examples, the dragon bones and the frost dragon bones, and talk about the experience rates and what kind of experience to give you. So starting off with the dragon bones, for every bone you put into the fire, into the bonfire, you get 180 prayer experience and at the same time 144 fire making experience. And you can burn 1800 bones per hour, which is actually really decent. Don't forget to be using like bonuses like the clan avatar, um, any bonus you can think of, use it. I'm not using really any bonuses except my automatic bonus experience just to show you how good it is. And Anything that you think might benefit this method, just put back into it and you'll get faster experience. So as I said already, you can burn 1,800 bones per hour, which means that per hour, you'll get 324,000 prayer experience from using dragon bones on your fire per hour. And you also get at the same time, 260,000 fire making experience, which means that in total, by using up 1,800 dragon bones on a fire, you'll get 584,000 experience in one hour. Which means that on average, by using dragon bones on the fire, it'll cost you a god coins per experience. And just to compare, dragon bones, using them on the player owned homed guild altar, you'll get about 280 to about 300,000 prayer experience per hour. Which is actually, this is method is actually faster than the normal method. But on top, you'd also get 260,000 fire making experience. And funny enough, using dragon bones on the gilded altar will cost you 10.5 GP per XP. That's 2.5 GP per XP more expensive on average than using them on the bonfire, which is actually quite surprising to me. So I'm gonna move on now to the frost dragon bones and talk about them because obviously they're gonna be a lot faster. If you aren't aware already, currently frost dragon bones are the best bone type for prayer experience. They gain the most experience per hour in a player owned guild altar. They gain about 700,000, maybe up to a million now, prayer experience per hour, depending on sort of the method you use. But if you use them on the bonfire, it'll give you in total 810 experience per bone, which if you cut them into pieces, it gives you 450 prayer experience per bone 
and at the same time 360 fire making experience which adds up to obviously to 810 experience per bone. You can burn exactly the same amount of frost dragon bones per hour, that's 1800, which equates to 810,000 prayer experience per hour and also 650,000 fire making experience per hour, which works out to be 1.5 million experience per hour if you add them both together. And that's that's pretty insane if I'm, I'm you know getting 1.5 million experience per hour. So in 10 hours you've gained 15 million experience, which works out to be 15 gold coins per experience on average. Compare that to how much you'd get from the player owned homed gilded altar. It currently costs 20 gold coins per experience to use your frost dragon bones on the gilded altar. So currently this is 5 GP cheaper on average for your experience. So that's actually pretty decent also. And at the same time as gaining the same amount of experience for prayer on a gilded altar, you would also get some decent fire making experience on top. So you could actually get both 99s on the same day, obviously, you know, if you work out how much you gotta do. Um, but that's actually pretty decent. It's pretty insane. But sadly, this does not work with boarding gloves and also on the bonus experience weekend. So those are the only two things that it just doesn't work with. Any other bonus experience you have, it works with that. You know, automatic bonus experience, that works. So anything that you think might boost your experience per hour, make sure to use it. Please keep in mind that you can use any bone on the bonfire. As long as it's a bone, not an ash, you can use it on the bonfire. But also keep in mind that even if a bone is cheaper or gives less experience, it doesn't mean it's actually cheaper in the long run. Dragon Bones itself was about 10 GP, and then there was pretty much nothing around that price, you know, that cheap price, everything else was slightly above it. And obviously as you get higher and higher, it does become more expensive, but you're paying for the experience. So thanks for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to go down below and subscribe for more videos like these. And I'll see you all tomorrow with another video. Peace out.